my name is Akima Honiaktua and we're here at the 54th Herd Museum Guide Indian Fair and Market, night 2012. And these are all our pictures and paintings. And everybody knows Kima's from my videos and we thought we'd have Akima kick off the start of this one. And uh, everybody talks about how great Akima's stuff is in my uh, videos. So we'll just show what he's got here for 2012 and we'll walk around a little bit and go down and show my friend uh, Ernest Hanani who's here too. He's right down from uh, Akima. And Akima had three shawls that already sold, didn't he? Stashes. Sta is that how you say it? Yeah, um, what's up, and, and they're traditional, they're for ceremonies, aren't they? For Hopi ceremonies yeah. and stuff like that? Uh, first place award. Oh, and you got what? First place ribbon. Oh, you did? 2012 for us. Well, you were first that. place last year or second mm -hmm. place last year? First place last year. Last year. And so. let me show the people this other painting which hasn't been on your... And of course, Kim is from, uh, am I saying it right, Bakabai? Bakabi. Baka and uh, Akeem and I are going to do some videos together this summer from up there. Uh, and we'll be heading up there in a couple of months to do some videos. We're we'll walk down here and show my buddy Ernest and stuff. Hey, thanks, Akeem. I'll be back soon. Right. And of course, this is my buddy. Um, Way for the folks there. Oh, hi. <laughs> I brought him a sub uh, on the way here. Now he's having lunch. But of course, you recognize my buddy uh, Ernest Onani from Kotsamovi and videos I did this summer. And here are some of his kachinas. Akima said he cut his hair like that to let people know how serious he was. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Yeah. I told him what you said. All three of us ought to get the same haircuts. I figured it was something like that. But it was, you were right. <laughs> it's, I'm dead serious, Ron. You usually catch everybody's eyes. <laughs> well, he looks different. He didn't look like the same man, actually. Oh, yeah. Now this is going to kick off this video for uh, the show. I was, I was talking to them about how, what to put inside this um, alien uh, painting. Oh, and his what to put inside of his alien? Yeah, thing. giving him some pointers on what to put inside with a light <laughs> mass in there. He needs, he needs a flying saucer you saw in there somewhere, too. You <laughs> yeah. Know? I, I, as soon as I looked, oh, the... Which, which one is that? Oh, oh, that is the flying saucer you saw, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? And I told him about the story on the farm. In fact, I've told people all over the world that story. Here you're gonna have to speak alien, up. Alien, um, alien um, spaceships look at our Kachina dolls like some of them have like alien faces, you know. Well, they think they're aliens. Yeah, so that's, that's common, you know. So, that, yeah, so I was telling him to put some of these old, the historic ones inside of it, like that. On the side of it, you know. In fact, your cone head yeah. man there is really an alien yeah. artifact because that shows up in other societies, right. you know. Yeah. In fact, I think I'll get this in here to let people know, show it to people. This is kind of what Ernest was talking about. Uh, Hopi alien right here, we call this. A good name. And, and Ernest and, uh, like I said, Ernest and uh, Akeem and I are going to do some videos together this summer up on the Mesa. Like, I'll be back later. This is the opening videos for the show. Crowds are smaller this year. Uh, try to find some of the uh, some more kachinas over here. Ladies' pottery work here. I'm not surprised. 
These are your paintings or your sons? They're my paintings. They're your paintings. Now, where are you from? I'm from New Mexico. Oh, you're from New Mexico. Yeah. I come on every, every year to record my Hopi buddies, and I'm just doing a little thing walking around. Here. Okay. Cool. Where are you from in New Mexico? It's a place called Kirtland, Shiprock. Oh, up in the Four Corners yeah. area up there. Yeah. yeah, I was just up at Santa Fe last summer for the um, for the big uh, Indian fair up there. Sure. Indian market? Uh -huh. Yeah, the yeah, Indian we'll market. Be, we'll Were you there too? You bet. Yeah, I, there were so many of them, I didn't get to them all in yeah, like six huge. hours. Yeah, you can't do that. And I ran into some friends of mine who Zuni dancers. Sure. And I ended up following them. They wanted me to record them and stuff like that and follow them around. So you're going to be up there this summer, you say? Oh, yeah. We're definitely okay. going back. Thanks, bud. Uh-huh, you bet. Show your stuff here real quick. What what uh, what tribe are you with? Navajo. You're Navajo. Uh, one of my sons married to a Navajo. Girl. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's from New Mexico herself. So you're the painting, and I guess you're doing the pottery, yeah. huh? Yeah. Uh, I'll come back around. I'll give you a card, okay. and. Um, You'll be part of my Hopi buddies, and uh, this should be on YouTube. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, we'll look for it then. Yeah, then yeah, I'll give you a card to show you to find yourselves, okay. and you'll be able to uh, share with all your friends. I come down here every year and kind right. of do this. Sounds good. Show your mom's beautiful uh, pottery work. Mother in law. Oh, mother in law, huh? He doesn't trust, he doesn't claim me. This is mother in law. It, wasn't that an old country and western <laughs> song or something? Mm -hmm. Beautiful work. Uh, what's kind of neat about it is kind of different. Yeah. It, you know what I'm saying? The shapes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I try to make it different than everybody else. And I see we got our traditional pipe down here at the bottom, huh? Only carved into a eagle, I guess. Huh? Huh? Excuse me? I said I see a traditional pipe down here. Yeah. yeah. I got a, uh, a Hopi pipe too, but they're a lot more, you know, a lot simpler. You know. mm -hmm. Beautiful stuff. Thanks, folks. Mm -hmm. And what are you taking pictures for? Well, I'll be right back and I'll tell you when this, I'm running, I have to run these 15 minutes long. I have to stop. Uh, I have like 290 videos running on YouTube yeah. of mainly Native American stuff. Where are you from? Yep. Oh, you're from Gallup, huh? Yep. I was just up there with a friend of mine. In fact, some, and you might know the kid. He's an albino Zuni. And I have YouTube videos running all over the place, and he contacted me. He's here somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's such a small town, I thought maybe you might know who he no, was. No, I don't. Because uh, there's only like 10,000 people live in Gallup, huh? It's like 30. That many people, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I, I recorded... Uh, I did two videos of Mr. Richardson's trading post downtown. Oh, really? Yeah, because, you know, Heard Museum's pretty neat, but Richardson's trading post is neater. I mean, it really is. It's a hidden secret. You know, this stuff is, you know, just goes back to, it's like going through history, going through that, uh, this building. And I went in there, and they let me go in the back and video it all. Uh, yeah. Mr. Richardson did. They weren't going to let me. And Mr. Richardson came up to me. And I said, I'm 64 years old, but he's 92. And he comes up to me, he says, what do you want, son? <laughs> and I says, man, I think your place is a museum. And I think it's better than the Herd Museum and a lot of museums. And he says, I'll get you a guide. You can, you can video all you want. So I videoed them for 30 minutes on YouTube. I'm sure I'm gonna put them out on YouTube. And, it, and it's kind of funny, uh, we're doing a big electrical project. I'm an electrical estimator. And the kid running it is from Gallup, it, uh, Cooper Haskins, who grew up in Gallup himself. Now he lives here. Uh, well, I graduated from ASU with a degree in construction. 
Now he's going to big job sites, multi-million dollar projects. So. Thanks, Greg. Uh, might as well show your paintings, though, over here. Yeah, I got Hopi Buds over here. I go up and make videos with on the reservation over here, right here, yeah. And we make little promotional videos for their stuff that they can send out and stuff like that. Yeah, um, this will be on YouTube, and I'll show you how to find it later. Okay. All right, cool. Talk about Henry Winkler. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I have friends that live on Old Arrivey. They, they got a couple of Hopi friends up here, Ernest Onani and Akima back there. And uh, Henry Winkler came up on the Hopi reservation. They're sitting on their patio on Old Arrivey there. And he came up, and he says, "Do you know who I am?" And they go, "We don't know who you are," uh -huh. but they knew who he was. Get my point? Yeah, and they go, "Yeah, they're just getting shit." And they go. Uh, he goes, uh, how will we know you are? We don't have TV. You know what I mean? We, don't, we, <laughs> yeah. know we have no electricity, no running water, no TV. And he got all upset and stormed <laughs> off because he didn't, they didn't know who in the hell he heard was. Yeah, he hurt his feelings. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I, right. I kind of to toured him around once upon a time, way back when he was still all known. Well, we're on old arriving. No, it was a second mate. He oh, he's on he, second mate. It was all over the place there then, was a basket huh? dance going on. And oh, okay. Took him around. I, I ran into some movie actors up on uh, Walpi one time. And they were all acting uppity too, but they could, they were buying the big chinas, you know what I mean? And I, oh, I had a couple hundred dollars in my pocket to spend, you know, they had thousands, you know. Hi. Beautiful work. I guess you're probably Zuni without even asking. Oh, Navajo. Huh? Oh, you're Navajo. Yeah, well, the fetishes guy. is what threw me. Yeah. Because pretty much Zuni. Yeah, the fetishes are small. Oh, they're smaller than yeah, these, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, they're mostly in your medicine house or carried on you. These are more for display. More, oh, oh, so there was a meaning behind they carried them in a pouch, huh? Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be blessed by a shaman or medicine man. Right, they were kind of like the little, uh, if, when you bury me, you bury this pouch. Yeah, and, and, and um, these are more for display. These are more like sculpturing almost. Well, they are. Where are you from? Albuquerque. Oh, you're from Albuquerque? Albuquerque? Yeah. Originally from Rama, New Mexico. From where? Rama. Where's that near? Uh, south of Gallup. Oh, south of Gallup. Yeah, I was just talking to uh, somebody else from. Oh, behind me, these guys from Gallup. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're near south of Gallup on the way to uh, Zuni Pueblo then. Mm -hmm. no, pretty country. East of, east. Oh, you're east. Of, east oh, of the... pretty country. Yeah. It um, is. What's an inscription mountain yeah, or something? Yeah, Elmore like? National Park. Elmore. Yeah, I got videos running on that. In yeah, fact. I used to work there. Oh, you did? Yeah. With the Rangers, huh? Yeah, I the one that the switchback came. Oh, you cut the switchbacks in? No, I repaved it. Re oh, you're the one that repaved re it? Redone re re the whole stuff. I was all up and I was going to try and make it to the top, but man, yeah. I got really tired yeah. at, when I got yeah, around the corner. The elevation. On the, on the elevation changed. Man, I was a huffing and a puffing, yeah. and there was these guys from Holland there, uh -huh. and that's basically sea level, yeah, yeah. get my point. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then I go and I tell them, I ran into him and started talking to him and I said, you guys ain't going to make it to the top, uh, man, because you're, you're already like, what, around 5,000 feet yeah, high? Yeah, about 6,000. 6, oh, 6,000, so no wonder I was the huffing yeah. and puffing, because I got back by, even by the little water, you know, yeah, the little yeah, fountain yeah. right that there. Little pond, yeah. That little pond, that little hill going up to the little pond on there, yeah. kicked my ass. <laughs> Yeah. A neat place though. The pet yeah, are yeah. amazing. Yeah. And some Zuni friends of mine told me they believe that's where they were originally. Oh, that's where they came from. Yeah, uh, that's where that they that, that whole area right in yeah, there. Yeah, in the canyon and behind it. Uh, and a lot uh, of they got chased out of there and when they ended up well, so this one Zuni friend said of mine, that that's where they ended up. 
Mm -hmm. Then it was at Zuni Pueblo, but they started there. And they, and they say their petroglyphs prove that that was their starting point. Uh -huh. okay. Interesting. Uh, might as well have your name. Joseph. Huh? Joseph? Excuse me. <coughs> And this will be the end of part one. God bless and enjoy.